Welcome back to the BST Podcast. Here with Zach Taylor, our actual defending Power Eye wingless sprint car champion of last year. How are you doing, Zach? I'm doing good. Doing good. So uh, this year, uh, I've seen your schedule. Yeah. Looks uh, pretty travelish. Yeah. I think how many states you in? I don't know. I we just go to the races. How many? Sit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It looks looks like a lot of, a lot of different states this year. So. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like you're going to be able to partake in our whole season. Uh, but you're running the midget and the sprint car, wing, non-wing. What else? Uh, so we have the midget, sprint car, wing, and non-wing. And then I also run an asphalt modified. We weren't sure about the races uh, when the schedule got put out. But we're going to try and hit a couple races up at CNS. Nice. So that'll be pretty fun. And then I know the races... For the non-wing stuff, we just picked up a toter, so we can do a lot more long hauls and not have to stop and worry about hotels. So we'll be able to travel a lot further and go hit a lot more big races. And so hopefully we just get my name out there and learn some more stuff so we can come back here. We're just a little bit as, harder to beat. As far as a series or a championship, is it going to be the midgets then this year? Is that your one and only all from start to finish? Or are you going to... You got anything else in there? Uh, I think probably just the midgets start to finish because I've, I've got, we got a championship in the wing stuff, non-wing, and the midget. I've been close every year. Just so then, this you're gonna, year you're gonna try and dethrone Roush. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give it my best shot. If we don't, we don't. We just go on. But you, I don't know if you know this, but Roush was my teammate back in the day. Yeah. When I raced midgets, yeah, for Tony Finley. And he was kicking butt and winning then, and I don't think he's ever stopped, has he? Uh, no. <laughs> how, many, how many championships does he have? I have no clue. I think it's probably up over 10 at least. It's got to be. It's got to be. It's kind of like Steve Kinzer and the Outlaws. No, oh, yeah. Just one that's unde- unbeatable. Yeah. He, he does good, but I can honestly tell you, I've been watching you in the midget. Uh, you're, you're doing good. Of course, you did awesome in the wingless sprint. You've always done good in the wing stuff. Uh, looking to actually see if you can dethrone him. So I, I'm going to support you on that one. That'll be good. He, he needs it. He, he needs to be humbled, I think. Yeah, I know. Uh, we'll be racing against him down at the Turnpike Challenge, and I know at the – what was it called? The awards banquet last year, uh, Patrick Burke told everybody, he's like, this kid's coming up, and he's coming fast. Yeah. And so it, ma- it made me feel really well. But I hope that everybody in the RMMRA and the ASCS Elite non-wing just keep progressing and people want to come to Colorado and they see, all right, they have that many cars, let's go up there. That's, that's the idea. Two cars, so so uh, we've been talking about uh, throughout the day some of the struggles of sprint cars and uh, some of the open wheel stuff, but it seems like now, finally, that all the divisions, I mean, you look at the 600s, you look at the 1200s, you look at the midgets, and now even our sprint cars, I believe all of those divisions are 20 plus. Uh, I, after our last uh, power ride non-wing race last year, I bet you everybody's gonna start realizing like, hey, we got, there's there's a foundation here, let's yeah. keep trying to build this. So I know the midgets are probably gonna be coming up and yeah. having more cars, and then the AS, the elite non-wing. I think I saw Ryan Order got a car. Yeah. And so hopefully the Coxes are up here this year. And yeah, and we just, interviewed him. He said he's going to have a couple out, of course. Okay, good so. deal. So yeah, I mean that's that's four cars I, right there I, at least. I think, like I said, I, I think so. Some of the open wheel stuff, all the divisions. I, I'm really excited this year. I think for the first time in a long time, we should have full fields of all those. Yeah, ex- especially for our race in Fort Morgan, Colorado. I don't know what weekend that is, but I was really bummed out when that got canceled last year because that i want to race on their non-wing that yeah. place is it's fun yeah. in the wing sprint cars and non-wing how about holyoke you gonna, which which few are you going to be able to catch are you going to be able to catch a holyoke because i think holyoke is going to be a blast i don't know I, I think holyoke would be a blast non-wing i don't have my schedule right in front of me but i i don't know if it's on the schedule we'll definitely be there and if it's not if there's a cancellation of something else and that weekend's open. We'll be there. Nice. So. Real quick before you go, uh, what happened in Chili Bowl? What tell us a Chili Bowl story? Um, uh, I was spending too much f- time flying through the air and not enough time wheels on, on the ground. On the ground. Yeah. yeah. I was, you were thinking two was better than four. Yeah. <laughs> and then none were better than some. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it was 
we go to Chili Bowl every year. We don't. We go there planning on doing good, and we don't go there planning on winning everything. We go there to. You got such ourselves. a wide variety anymore, and you got yeah. the best of the best, and then you got some of the elite that come in in other divisions, yep. and, and it obviously makes it tougher each year. It seems like because it just seems like that. I guess top. 10 became top 20 and now it's like top there's like 30 guys that could win that oh, race yeah. any given time it's it's crazy i know we show up and we got some people that park next to us and they come out of california and their stuff it's immaculate and there's some other people on the other side of the building and their stuff's it's like what are you doing here like, yeah you yeah. should go home and rethink this and then come <laughs> yeah. back because yeah. it's just the quality of of cars there it's you can't find it anywhere else. It used to be Keith Coons had, had them all covered, and, and now there's there's a bunch of Keith Coons out there. Yeah. You know? And then, well, you got Larson now owning his own stuff. Yep, Larson owning his own stuff. Uh, Bell running for Tucker Boat Motorsports. It's just... Man, man, Larson was on fire this winter. Oh, yeah, wow. he's... That's incredible. That dude's... He's a robot. He's yeah. so good. Yeah. It's unbelievable. All right, Zach, thanks for coming. Uh, looking forward to seeing you this year, and uh, make sure you make as many shows as you can here. All righty. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right.